Welcome back to Galveston Life, everybody. Now, Galveston's rich history is alive all over the island. And you know, there's some really cool spots in town. If you like antiques, you can find some really great pieces at a number of hot spots, Including the uh, architectural salvage warehouse. We have manager Craig Cahill with us. This is so cool. Now, this is part of the Galveston Historical Foundation. That's and correct. You can like go in and, and buy stuff from some of the historical homes. We encourage it. So you brought a number of pieces along today, and uh, let's start over here with this door. So where did this door come from? This was donated by one of our residents here in Galveston who was rehabbing their home. And then, believe it or not, they actually did a complete restoration and, and, and replaced these doors with exact replicas, but just remade. And he wanted to donate these and keep them alive, so he brought them over to us. That is so cool. You know, they don't make doors like this anymore. Guys, check out the detail on this door handle. And also, my favorite part, I wish they still had these on front doors. That is the best part. It's that awesome. That is really cool. The doorbell is built right in. Okay, Absolutely. let's move on to the next thing. What is this down here? This is a piece of decking from the 1877 ship, tall ship Alyssa here at the Texas Seaport Hold Museum. Hold on. How did you get a piece of the decking? Well, the Texas Seaport Museum and uh, the tall ship Alyssa is part of the Galveston Historical Foundation. So when they were re uh, redoing the deck, uh, they salvaged the old wood and we brought it over to the warehouse and have been slowly selling it off to uh, interested parties. They actually use quite a bit of it over at the Sea Scout facility here in Galveston. And Craig, I mean, when it comes to antiques, how do you see people using this stuff in their homes? Because I know, like with a door, I've seen people take old doors and turn them into coffee tables, but what would you do with something like this? I've seen people use different pieces for mantles, to make coffee tables, large dining room tables. Some people will take it, and it's such thick wood, you can split it and actually use it for flooring, because it's you know, thick enough to able to split and reuse. Oh, that's interesting. See, so I think it'd be cool to put, you know, like a, a model boat or something on it. Use it as a as a mantle. Use it as something over maybe a fireplace or over the sofa. You're I think only you limited could. by your imagination. Yeah. You could use it uh, to protect yourself. Hit people with it. Uh, just to joke, folks. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, making sure you're still awake. Now, this uh, window pane here, the glass is still totally intact. Correct. A lot of these old windows, you might be able to tell when you look at it from side to side, it has a bit of a wave and some bubbles in it. That's considered old wavy glass. And it was the method they used to produce glass back in the day. It left the imperfections in there. So you have a completely different feel than modern glass today. Well, you see, I actually least. really like that, that you have those touches of, you know, getting that historical aspect of it. All right, last but not least, we have uh, these, well, sort of muted colors. What are what, what is this, Craig? This is essentially <laughs> what sheetrock is today. This is called beadboard. And beadboard would be used below the chair rail, above the chair rail, and even in many houses on the ceiling. In my house, it's actually on all three. So this is why the old historic homes are so sturdy, because you've got the framing of the house, and then you've got this, which it's got tongue and groove, so it overlaps, and it uh, is quite sturdy. You could put these all together and frame it and make a really cool piece of art. Or not even frame it, just hang it above a chair or a bed. So guys, I hope you've been paying attention because we're about to play a little bit of a game. Members of our studio audience <laughs> are visiting from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Welcome, guys. Oh, Chattanooga, Oklahoma, actually. It's a, it's a different place, folks. <laughs> Chattanooga, Oklahoma only has 600 people. You guys from come from a very small town. They are visiting Galveston on their senior trip. So I want to introduce Colby and Brody. We're going to play a little pricing game. Craig is going to be our host. Explain how the game works, my friend. Okay, guys. Um, I'm sure we've all seen prices right. Basically, I'm going to give you a brief, des brief description on the items. Were you guys paying attention earlier? Okay. And ask you to give me your estimated retail price without going over of what you think it would retail for in the architectural salvage warehouse. Okay. So with the door, what do you think it's going to go for? Who's ringing the bell? Go for it. $350. $350. That is Brody's guess. Colby, do you have any idea? I'd say about $400. $400. All right. And the actual value of the item based on what people pay for this stuff is, Craig? Those are both great uh, guesses, but it's actually $1,700. This is one of two doors, oh, wow. so it's double door. So it's a little misleading, but <laughs> it would be $1,700. So add that up, wow. add $1,000, $1,700. $1, wow. wow. Okay, moving on to our next item. Okay, so the, the, the piece of decking from the Alyssa. Hmm. <laughs> um, I'd say since it's from an actual ship, about 800 
All right, Coley saying since it's from an actual ship, maybe about 800 bucks. Brody? I think I'd say probably 1000 a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. All right, Craig. What's I would the very much like y'all to come over to the store today. It's actually one hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. So that's you a just steal. paid too much. <laughs> that is a steal. All right, this old window pane. What do you think? Uh, hey, three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Okay. Colby seems really excited about this, by the way. <laughs> or Brody, you too. I'd too. say about five hundred. Again, okay. both of those are terrific guesses, but it's actually $45. $45? $45. Wow, See, that's I a steal. See, I think that's a steal for, I mean, for a window like that. I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> All right, back to this beadboard. Now, you know, people use this in many different ways. So, uh, Brody, I'm going to start with you. What's your guess? Is it, that's just that just This that is actually piece. priced per foot. So, these are examples. So, imagine, depending on how many feet. So, basically, your guess is priced foot. per foot. $60 a foot. $60 a foot. All right. That seems like a reasonable guess. Colby? Say $80 a foot. Again, terrific guesses, and I'd love for y'all to come shop, but it's $2.50 a foot. Oh, my $2. God. $2. That's wow. a pretty good deal. Well, uh, you know what? You're both winners. I'm going to give you both a pair of Houston Life sunglasses. <laughs> Tell your friends you came to visit Texas. Very Thank nicely you. done, Colby and Brody. Enjoy your senior trip. Thanks for coming down to Galveston. And, uh, Craig, thank you so much for stopping Thanks very by. Much, Derek. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you very, so very much cool. for coming in. I want to make sure that folks know how they can find out more information about the Architectural Salvage Warehouse. Uh, you can find that at galvestonhistory.org. Yeah, and you know, coming up after the break, Galveston is known for fun in the sun, but what about spirits? We're going to tell you about a very cool history lesson that's also a ghost tour after the break.